Right then guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the fun little colour change you will have seen yesterday. It is a gimmick build, it is a very simple gimmick build. Basically I have skipped a few processes but you will be able to work it out. You are going to get yourself a bit of card, you are going to place a playing card inside the card and you are going to cut it into an envelope so you are going to have a little centimetre of flap that folds over from the bottom. A centimetre that folds over from the side. This flap will fold all the way over and join this. So it makes like a little sleeping bag. And then you're going to have a little bit that folds over like this. It is not very hard to create this. Just stick a card with a bit of double stick tape on it and cut round it. It just makes my videos a little bit quicker. So this is ordinary craft card, thick paper. You know, it's about as thick as a birthday card, something like that. So you're going to create something which looks like this. It's a little envelope, basically, containing a card. When you have got that, you are going to find whatever card you're going to use. Now, in my performance, the card that you saw was red. It's going to be blue this time round. So you're going to get yourself a blue card and you're going to cut it maybe just off centre, it depends how big your envelope is. So that you will be able to stretch this card up to show it and then it will fling back inside with some elastic thread. It is advisable to round off these corners just so it doesn't get stuck on the card inside. And then that card is going to go in there and it will be attached with some thread, you'll stretch it up like this and it will scoop back down. So what I'm going to do to get this in exactly the right place, I'm going to put it where it needs to be. I'm then going to get a bit of insulation tape and I'm going to stick that flap to the card and then I'm going to fold it over and then I'm going to puncture some holes through it. Because then I know everything is lined up. So I'm going to get another pin and I'm going to go through the card and through the paper. There. And there. And I'm going to put some thread, just a loop of thread all the way around there. Now I've already threaded my needle. So you're going to thread through your hole. And you're going to go back through the other side. I can find the hole. There we go. Pull that thread through. Might stick that needle there so I don't lose it. I've got a habit of losing needles. And now you're just going to tie this off. So you're going to do what we've done before many times with the flap cards. We're going to get the first knot. You're going to put a bit of tension on it. We're going to tie your second knot. Now this is not very easy on this card. Probably shouldn't have done it on here. So maybe not do it on the card itself because it's hard to get hold of the thread. That's it. You're going to use your lips as a third hand. To pull that and then put a third knot just so everything stays secure. And then get your scissors and cut off that excess. Now pull off your tape. So that should go up there and shoot back in. So what you're going to do now is you're going to stick all this down. So you're going to stick it like that. Making sure you don't get any glue where the card's going to be. So you're going to stick the bottom and stick the top. Now in my performance you saw some tape on there. <laughs> 
that was because I literally just knocked it up. So we've got a bit there and a bit on this bottom. And we're going to fold that over. I'm going to fold that over and we're going to stick it down. Now, I would go and wait, put this in a book, something hard for this glue to go off. But I haven't got that luxury, so I'm going to get out my trusty tape. Now, this was why on the performance there was black tape, or I don't even know if it was black tape, actually. But that was just literally holding everything together because I'd only just basically done it. Don't really need any on the bottom. So you've got a card which you can slide out and it will stay in position. Now you are going to need some sort of strong clip because this card is going to want to shoot back inside. So you're going to want a clip that's going to be strong enough to hold that card in position because when you pick up the envelope you can apply a bit of pressure with your thumb take this off and show the card and it won't just fling back in so that is the gimmick created how easy was that well yeah i did cheat a bit didn't i by remaking the envelope already but it's not hard it's five minutes so the way the trick works this gimmick in here is blue so i'm using a blue deck Inside the blue deck is a red, inside the blue box is a red deck. So I'm gonna take any red card out, it does not matter what this is. And that is going to slide in front. Behind the gimmick, sorry. So that red card will go in, you're gonna square it all up I mean, you can pull this blue card slightly above it if you want, but just make sure it all looks squared up. So when you put your clip on, when you come back to it, you'll pinch here, you'll open this up and they will see a blue card and no flashes of any edges. So we'll leave that aside. So basically you've got a red deck in a blue box. So you're gonna put these cards face up. I said this was just a comedy type of effect. It's not, it's not meant to be serious, it's just a bit of fun. So you're going to take the box out and then basically say that this is a open prediction and it's so open you can pick from a face-up deck. Now when you're shuffling make sure you don't drop these cards because in the spectator's eyes this is a blue deck at the moment. So you've got a free choice of any card. Let's say they have the Ace of Diamonds, a great card. Put these away if you want. Just sort of emphasises that card should be blue on the back. And now you're gonna to go to your prediction. Now this was an open prediction. Wouldn't it be mad if the card inside here matches this card? So you're gonna take this off. You're gonna show them a blue card. And you're gonna make up some sort of pattern, whatever you want, but it wasn't the face I was interested in. It was the back. Now, as you reach in to pick this card, you're just gonna release pressure and it will turn blue, uh, red, sorry. That gimmick will shoot inside the envelope. Um, I've attached a thread to that little lip inside so there is no visible thread on the outside. I mean, you could make this envelope in a different color. But that's how easy it is. You're just gonna have one card inside the envelope. Stretch your gimmick up. So it lines up. Put your clip on. Right, you found the Ace of Diamonds. But I wasn't interested in the Ace itself, just the back. We're gonna release pressure and that will shoot inside. So we're gonna reach in, take out a red card. So that's it guys, it's a 10 or 15 minute build just to have a little bit of fun so comment subscribe like guys and come back tomorrow for another card trick cheers